King Solomon tells us, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. As we seek this wisdom, let us turn to the church fathers and say, Ava, give me a word that I may live. It is the day of resurrection. Let us offer ourselves as first fruits. These words from a Paschal homily of St. Gregory the Theologian in the 4th century later became part of a resurrection hymn that was sung in church in the 6th century. After singing this hymn in the church on the Feast of Resurrection, St. Dorotheus of Gaza meditates on the words of the hymn in his own Paschal homily, saying, The sons of Israel kept the Bescha when they came out of Egypt. Now Bescha, the celebration which St. Gregory is encouraging us to keep, is performed by the soul which departs from the spiritual Egypt, that is, from sin. For when the soul passes over from sin to virtue, that is when it celebrates the Bescha of the Lord. As Evagrius has said, the Bescha of the Lord is the passing over from evil to good. And thus now today is the Bescha of the Lord, the day of the bright festival, the day of the resurrection of Christ, who has nailed sin to the cross, who has died and rose, all for our sakes. Let us also offer to the Lord gifts, sacrifices, whole burnt offerings. For after saying, it is the day of resurrection, St. Gregory says, let us offer ourselves as first fruits of the resurrection. That is, let us offer ourselves as a sacrifice. Let us die to ourselves all the day long, as did all the saints, for the sake of Christ our God, who died for us. How did they put themselves to death? Do not love the world or the things in the world, as is said in the Catholic epistle. But having renounced the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, that is, the love of pleasure, the love of money, and vainglory, they took up the cross and followed after Christ and crucified the world to themselves and themselves to the world. Concerning this, the apostle says, those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. This is how the saints put themselves to death. And how do they offer themselves a sacrifice? By not living for themselves, by subjecting themselves to the commandments of God and abandoning their own desires for the sake of the commandment to love God and their neighbor. Thus, let us also offer ourselves in sacrifice as St. Gregory teaches. As we greet each other saying, Christ is risen, truly he is risen, and as we praise the joyful resurrection hymns throughout the Holy 50 days, let us also keep the spirit of the early fathers, like St. Dorotheos of Gaza. Just as St. Dorotheos translates the resurrection hymn of his time to life and teaching, let us also apply the spirit of resurrection to our lives by passing over from sin to virtue and no longer living selfishly for ourselves but rather abandoning our own desires in love of God and neighbor, that we too, as St. Gregory and St. Dorotheos teach us, may offer ourselves as first fruits of Christ's resurrection, that we too may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death, that we too may attain to the resurrection from the dead.